Hello and welcome to the med prep video tutorial on chest examination. In a full respiratory examination, general observations and examination of the peripheral signs of respiratory disease must also be carried out. In this tutorial, we will focus on chest examination alone. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll be performing a chest examination to consist of a general inspection, palpation, percussion and then auscultation. So first now, general inspection. We check if any scars are present, and if so, ascertain whether they're surgical or traumatic. Then we check if there's any abnormality in the chest shape. Lastly, we take the respiratory rate, and a very effective way of doing this is by telling the patient that you're going to take their pulse to distract them. So if that's okay, I'm just going to take your pulse now. You take the rate, in a normal adult it should be about 12 or 13 a minute, and if the patient is slightly anxious, it may be slightly elevated. Thanks, you can relax now. First, we assess chest expansion. To do so, ask the patient, please can you take a deep breath in? And now breathe all the way out, and you scoop the chest like so. And now deep breath in again. And relax. As you can see, my thumbs moved apart symmetrically, and at a distance of over five centimeters, which was normal. Next, for tactile vocal phrenitis, with the ulnar borders of your hands, ask the patient, um, could you say the word 99 for me every time I touch your chest? Okay. Thanks. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. And relax. For percussion, you aim for the middle phalanx of your middle finger, and you strike it like so and the movement comes from your wrist and not from your elbow. First, you percuss the clavicles without putting your hand in the way, like so. Then the apices of the lungs. And then three points either side of the anterior chest wall, like so. Comparing each side each time. And then the axillary. Thanks. When auscultating, you listen to breath sounds, vocal resonance, and then whispering pectoral queen. So first for breath sounds, please could you take deep breaths in and out of your mouth, and I'm just going to have a listen to your chest. So you listen um, in the same regions as you just percussed, and it's easier to use the bell for the apices of the lungs, like so. Thanks. And relax. And next, to assess vocal resonance, every time um, uh, my stethoscope touches your chest, can you say 99 for me? Okay. Thanks. Thanks. And for whispering pectroliquy, you do the same, except the patient whispers 99 instead of saying it. Now, you perform the same tests on the posterior chest wall. So if it's okay, I'm just going to ask you to sit up, and if you could cross your arms like so, yeah. This moves the scapulae laterally and exposes more of the posterior chest wall for percussion and auscultation. So as before, uh, do a general inspection, palpation, percussion, and then auscultation. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching.